Good morning world and good morning universe. How was your lockdown going on so far? Or how did you enjoy your first rays of sunshine? After the rain? No, after the quarantine. As some of us have been in the depressed mode of feeling helpless and stuck, others saw an opportunity to finally grab a hold of their books that I guess almost a decade nang natago sa mga bookshelves nila. Tama ba? Aminin mo. And we won't be discussing here books na inalikabok na sa kwarto ko or kwarto mo, but a new source of books somewhere in the country I am stranded right now, which I believe, as far as I'm aware of, offers the cheapest selection of books in the world. Or exaggerated lang ako. We are in Pakistan or the land of the pure right now. Let's go and try to find out. Welcome to Zaysas again. I'm Zay Veronke saying, speak your passion and success will echo back to you. We welcome people from all walks of life. If you have any person to nominate as a book reviewer or simply a book you wish to be reviewed by our guest reviewers, feel free to comment down below and we'll put our best foot forward to grant your request. I will be airing most of my episodes every Saturday, so click the like and the subscribe button below to receive fresh updates on my vlogs. Speaking of lockdown, I am on my fourth month of being stranded here in Pakistan oh, since the no! UAE closed its borders. Uh, sa Dubai po ang work location ko now. I was here since March 13 and Dubai closes its borders on March 19. For the nth time, we have been applying and countless times been rejected for our annual application to go back to the country. Masayang pala pala ang reject na mo. Kahit ipagsisikan mo yung sarili mo, ayaw pa rin sa'yo. Kidding aside, to dismiss the frustrations and anxiety of waiting for our entry permit approval, we resort to make ourselves busy. One is to resort to our work from home. Good thing we were allowed by our companies to work from here. We're really thankful for that. Thank you very um, secondly, much! Good thing we brought our books with us and we were able to indulge our emotions on these books we brought. But the twist is, in my first month of stay palang, na ubus na yung dalawang books which I brought here. One is Think Rich and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and Cradle Blazing Success of Rex Mendoza. Good thing Hasnan, the youngest of the Raza brothers, who actually adopted us here in Pakistan, introduced us to the sites where he is buying his books. A little background on the sites, these are Facebook pages, pages kasi marami sila, that offers here in Pakistan wide selection of books, from fictions to non-fictions, uh, literature, inspirational books, business books, biographies, bibliographies, <laughs> not bibliographies. Name it, they got it. They have so many shops that offers different books and I happened to land on the bookshop. I was mind blown kasi nung nakita yung mga books, lahat ng mga books na inanap ko, andon. Some of the books which I was looking for a long time were there and others which I was rooting to buy pero it's a bit expensive, not within the budget. They are there in that affordable prices. Ang hirap mamili. I ordered 10 books, that is my target. But I selected almost 20 books and I really have to filter them out as per my priority and as per the availability so that I can just trim it down to 10. I have so many baggages, you know that I am stranded and it's hard for me to bring a lot of books, like a lot of baggage. Because most of my baggage are actually heavy already. Most are winter clothes and boots. Oh, no! Now, Fabi, my friend who is also stranded here, added five more books so it's a total of 15. How did the book ordering pass went? I ordered the book on May 23. They were very responsive, thanks guys. They informed me that books will be arriving four to five days after Ramadan. Okay, so basically May is a month of Ramadan for Muslim people here and 
May 29 to 31 is the end of Ramadan, or they call it Idil Fitir. So I did some follow-ups. I kept on messaging them. Nakulit ako. So I'm just actually excited. Good thing they, they were, we were actually conversing in English. But this time they answered me back in Urdu. So I don't have a choice but to ask Mustasan's help for translation part. And I responded back in Urdu. I don't know what the spelling was, so I was just making a guess on what will be the spelling. The payment term is in COD or cash and delivery, which is actually a good thing. The books arrived on June 10, more likely five days later than the promised time, which is actually understood since there are restrictions right now, until now, on the mobility in between provinces. Thank goodness, the mating din siya. So, Fabi did the sanitization. Fabi did sanitize the package just to avoid any strains of COVID on the whole items. It was delivered by a motor rider. So, in turn, we gave him the book ordering fee plus the delivery fee, which is a total of 2,200. Yeah, that's right. So the book came two days ago. That was Wednesday. Now is Friday, which is our off. And hindi ko muna siya because typically when I am receiving my package, gusto kong mababad the whole day. Like going through the book itself, checking one by one. Just, just try to have a feel of the book. So I took this opportunity today so that I can enjoy more of the whole package. So ngayon, ako ay kinikilig na to open the package. And let's do the unboxing. Oh, wait. Let's do the unpacking or unpackaging since it's unpacking. Okay? Since it's not a box. So there is no box to unbox. Okay? So, so much for that. Let's go. So, this is the whole package. It's also covered in plastic. And there are several scratches because I was trying to move it from one place to another. Let me just have the scissors and let's open it up. Okay, there you go. And one more. Okay. So I'm trying to guess what will be the very first book that I'm going to open or to get from here. I'm so excited. Okay, so here it goes. Mmm, that talks one of the most in demand books at this period. Okay, next is this is Khalid Hosseini. He is actually one of the most famous author in Pakistan. Actually, the author of The Kite Runner, one of the best selling authors. And we have In a Kingdom by the Sea another fiction book which is from Fabi actually okay zero to one it's for startups that's mine <laughs> and then okay let me just arrange it how the world works well that's absolutely mine and Alibaba it's written by Duncan Clark which is actually the CFO of Alibaba and then let me see mm, how to negotiate if you want to be in the to be up with the trend you need this book social media success for every brand and that's why I'm here actually and we have to learn more about this one okay and then we got oh the science of success Napoleon Hill I got his name from the book think rich and grow rich and then oh, no need for two years MBA, you just have the 80 minute MBA. That's mine actually. And then we have, mm, I guess I don't need an introduction for this one. Seven habits of highly effective people. Okay. Oh my god, the secret. I've been looking for it since I was second year in my university and I just found it now. It's really a very exciting book for me. And How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I also got his name from Think Rich and Grow Rich. He was also recommended by Napoleon Hill. Let 
Let me see. Okay, this is a book which was ordered by Fabi, Eleanor, and Park. And then, what else? Ooh, another fiction book, Five Feet Apart, by Miss Fabi Ann. Yeah, that's it. That's a wrap for our book and packing. What made me claim bookshops in Pakistan to offer the cheapest books ever? Let us do the illustration below. Most shops offer packages. They have this. For one book that is 330 Pakistani rupees or PKR, that's their currency. For five books, they offer you 1000 PKR. And for 10 books, they offer you 2000 PKR. Sometimes they also give one book as a free. Ang delivery charges sa kung anong quantity ang kukunin mo is 200 PKR. So let's do our conversion. As of now, June 12, 1 PKR is equivalent to 0.30 centavos. So then, 330 PKR is equivalent to 98.47 Philippine Peso. 1000 PKR is equivalent to 298.39 Pesos. 2,000 PKR is equal to 596 or 598 pesos. The total for 10 books is 598. So divided by 10, each book only costs 59.68 pesos. Plus the delivery cost of 200 PKR or equivalent to 59.13 pesos. Divide by 15, which is the total number of books which we ordered, each book is only delivered for 4 pesos each. So, the total cost per book is only 63.68 pesos. Whoa. That's how cheap each book is. There you go! <laughs> That's all the books we ordered from here. Hi, I really want to buy more. Pero pa ako excess baggage na ako whenever we fly. Okay, so let's have a recap of the whole experience. Let me try to rate it. So let's start with the price. The price itself is actually 10. I rate it as a total of 10. Then the book quality was also 10. The paper quality and the print was 9 ordering process 9 delivery 8 okay and then the package itself was 8 the total experience i could rate it as the total of 9 um the whole experience was so fun amazing it was thr thrilling and i could say that the excitement of browsing through the different book selections in the pages is almost the same as browsing it in the actual bookstore with the exemption of of course you don't know the quality of the books that you will be receiving you also don't know the quality of the contents or of the paper itself but with the price itself that is very affordable as how we completed it plus the quality i'm not expecting that much on the quality of the books but it really exceeded my expectation incomparable with the price that it has so the paper i mean the book quality they're all in paperbacks it's actually good these are good paperback covers and it's not exceptional but these are really good looking books of course the content is different join me in my upcoming videos to share to you my book reviews on these book selections we have and let's also explore different book reviewers to share to us their reviews on their favorite books and authors thank you for joining me in this first episode it means a lot for me if you keep on subscribing following and viewing my videos my upcoming videos this is Zay saying the price of the book doesn't necessarily speak about its content it is the whole experience of the reader that makes every book purchase worthwhile hanggang sa muli like how Pakistani says in bidding goodbye. I love you.